is the monopod, is that something we can actually use? So a while ago, I came down to this area. I mean, I can't even remember how long it was. The years have gone so quick. I can't remember if it was one year ago, two years ago. But I came down to this area for a walk around. And it was just after I'd had the R5. And what I wanted to do is have a look and see how good the image stabilization was on it. And if I could record video and stills without a tripod, because a tripod was always pretty cumbersome to carry around so it was always a bit hard work sometimes so I did that video I put a link to that video and it was quite successful I mean as long as I was filming in slow motion the R5 stabilization was pretty good to be honest um, and gave me some fairly good results even on video but as soon as I was sort of recording in normal speed video then it starts to get I've just got two monk jacks just run across the path in front of me just disappeared into the forest in front sorry yeah um, as I said as soon as I was recording normal video it did start to get a little bit shakier so, so I put that video out and a couple of comments I had back Adley said, why well, don't I go sort of halfway house and instead of having a full tripod or instead of having no tripod, why not try a monopod? So that's what I'm going to try. I've got my trusty monopod here. It's actually, the tripod I've got is actually, you can take one of the legs off and use it as a monopod, which is quite useful. So I've got my monopod, I'm just going to have a wander around I've got another little tiny monk jack just coming to the path in front of me. There's a little youngster down here. I'm just going to duck down because I don't want to spook it really more than anything. So yeah, keep getting interrupted. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna give it a go. I'm gonna say we're gonna push it to the limit a little bit. We're gonna do quite a bit of normal video as well as slow motion video. Cause I'm sure the slow motion video is gonna be fine, but I would like to see on normal video, whether we can get some decent images using the monopod and not too shaky. So let's have a walk around and see what we can get. And so hopefully we can answer some of the comments that came back last time you know is it is it worth just using a monopod rather than a tripod or nothing at all i mean it's never going to be as good as a tripod i assure you but let's give it a go it's nice lightweight we can carry it around nice and easy and it's worth a shot so let's go and see what we can find
Well, as expected, you know, no real surprises at the moment. Um, certainly if we film in slow motion, I think we get a really good stable image. I don't think there's any issues there. I think when, when we're not shooting in slow motion, when we're shooting at normal speed, I think there's a couple of things. It really depends, as with any sort of photographer, I guess, how stable you are in the first place. In some places when you're going to shoot, you're not on level ground. You, sometimes you might be kneeling down, sometimes you might be standing up. So it just depends on what you're actually doing at the time you're using the monopod, I guess. And that's, you know, that, that's, I mean, the, th the thing with a tripod, it doesn't matter. You know, once you set the tripod and it's on stable ground, it doesn't matter, matter what ground you're on. It will also always stay very stable once it's set up. The monopod won't, you know, you, if your body's moving around, then the camera's going to be moving around, the monopod's going to be moving around. But it is certainly a good halfway house, you know, from what I can see so far. Um, it's, you know, it's lightweight and that's the thing. So I've not got to lug the massive tripod around with me if I want to do that. If I'm going somewhere where I'm going to walk and the place I'm at here is, it's a fairly good walk. I mean, if you walk the whole thing, I don't know, it's about seven miles and I'm not, certainly not doing that. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're going somewhere where you're going to be walking a fair amount, the monopod is quite a good solution. And what it will allow you to do as well is react quicker than the tripod. You can set it, shoot and, and capture those images much quicker than you can if you're trying to set up a tripod, level it up and everything else. So it is a good halfway house from what I can see so far. Um, but let's carry on, see what else we can find. We, we just, we're seeing loads of monk jack around. Um, never really wear one of them, they're either too far away or when I see them close they're come and gone too quick or as you saw earlier, you know, I'm trying to film a piece to camera and they're just dropping out in front of me and I'm not ready with the main camera. So um, yeah, so we've got a few, few images but nothing, you know, nothing fantastic. We've got a bit of video, nothing fantastic. I think we've got some nice images and video of the blue tit, um, that's quite nice. So. Uh, We'll just continue um, and see what turns up and hopefully you know it's hopefully we can make a decision at the end what we're going to do because that is always a difficult thing for me do i go handheld do i go with a monopod do i go with a tripod and as you know i'm always trying to improve the quality of my videos um, and there's only one solution if you really want the best quality and that is tripod but is there another way that makes life a bit easier as you're walking around. Let's go and see.
So I just had a pretty close encounter with a monk jack. Um, I saw it actually wandering down the field. So I just put myself behind the hedge uh, and just waited and see what happened. And it just wandered closer and closer. I just wondered how close it was going to get. I was hoping it wasn't going to come through the hedge, to be honest, and uh, scare it and probably scare me as well. Um, but yeah, it got to probably within, I don't know, I've just got one just running across the field behind me. It got to within like maybe 20, 30 meters. Um, I sort of stopped. It, it sort of sensed I might be there. I just didn't move a muscle to be honest. I was on silent shutter so it couldn't hear anything. Um, and it, 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 you could see it sort of sensed something was not quite right. Uh, and it was sort of stamping its feet a little bit as if to say, you know, I'm a bit, a bit nervous about what's in there sort of thing. So I just completely froze, just waited. Um, and then it just gradually just slowly turned around, it didn't run off or anything, so it wasn't really spooked. Um, just gradually turned around and, and walked back up the field. Uh, and what a great thing, you know, great to see that I didn't really scare it, it didn't run off, it didn't, you know, it wasn't spooked. Uh, and great to see that walk away and then me back away slowly without, you know, scaring the wildlife. And that's what it's all about for me. If I can get those images and do that, without scaring the wildlife. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, so hopefully got some decent little shots from that uh, and a bit of video. So um, yeah, nice encounter. Well, that's it. No real groundbreaking images or groundbreaking video, but it was just really to demonstrate a point, you know, is the monopod, is that something we can actually use? And I think certainly, you know, my conclusion is that, yes, if we're gonna have a long walk around somewhere, then I certainly think it can be used. I still think there's a downside when you're in um, shooting in normal speed Certainly in, in slow motion, I don't see any problem. I think the big problem I've seen for me is in normal speed is the inability to pan smoothly. You know, with a tripod and a video head on it, you can pan nice and smoothly and get those animals and track them and get some good quality video. You can't do that with a monopod, I don't think. Um, you know, with some practice, maybe it'd get better, but I don't find it very easy to do that. So I think that's probably the biggest downside for me. But, you know, you can, if you're just going to shoot stationary subjects or subjects that are moving around within the viewfinder while the camera's stationary, I think you can get some fairly reasonable images. So yeah, I mean, it, it, it's another tool in the arsenal, as I say. You know, uh, if you don't want to carry the full tripod, carry the monopod. If you don't want to go handheld, carry the monopod. You know, there's a few options there just to lightweight things if you're going on a long trek. And, you know, I'm getting older, it's getting more hard work. We're all trying to get the, the weight of our gear down definitely as we're moving around. So I say no amazing images, no amazing video, but hopefully, you know, let me know what you think. Um, give us some comments, 
let me know whether you think the monopod works or not. There's a few images I've tucked in as well from when I've been walking around on previous days with the monopod. So everything is shot with the monopod, but some of them are not just from today. There's a couple of nice images, I think, of the, um, of the blue tip, which I'll drop in, which were actually shot on the monopod, but not actually in today. Um, but yeah, if you do like the video, please thumbs up would be great for me. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, and yeah, I don't know what we're going to do next. I just make it up as I go along. So whatever you're doing, have a great day and I'll catch up with you soon. Bye for now.